Hi, I'm Dustin, back again with another Rapid Rig Modular version 3 tutorial. In the last video, I showed how to create a rig, how to generate it, and in this video, I'm going to jump over to the Rebuild Rig. So as you're working with your rig, you may make changes to it, um, and then you may realize, oh, you know what, I had the wrong number of joints for twists or for the spine, something like that. So what you can do is, I'll just hide my controls, I'll bring back my proxies here. If I need to make a change to my proxy rig, so let's say for example, or let's just add something new to the rig rather than breaking something. If you do um, change like the number of joints and something, you may want to adjust your settings, but I'll talk about that in a second. So I could jump back to here and let's say I want to add my shoulder pad or something. Okay, and I'll say create auxiliary. I'll move those up. And so now if I go back to my rig, I obviously don't have those uh, you know, controls for the auxiliary yet. But what I can do is simply select the rig and I could say generate rig, rebuild. And then we have these settings here. So uh, we can override single hierarchy joints um, for the freezing and preserve joint rotation. If you realize you made a mistake, you wanted to freeze it or you didn't. Uh, you can choose to preserve the current skinning and weights. So that way, if you've done a bunch of skinning and you want to rebuild the rig without losing that, you can keep that on. And let's say you've modified the control shapes. Let's say I take, uh, let's see, this one here. <clears throat> Actually, I'll take the top IK control and I'll just move it up here. And I'll just make it a little bit bigger because this is really the one that should move the head so I'll put that a little bit higher maybe I'll make this one a bit smaller down so now I've made some changes to my shape uh, and if you've created any animation so let's say you're testing your animation generally you shouldn't animate on the rig uh, in the rig scene you should reference your file and then um, animate on the reference but I'll go ahead and just set a couple keys here obviously my weights are pretty messed up here Maybe I'll just quickly touch these up just so we can see the skinning gets reloaded. Kind of clean up that real quick on both sides. Okay, it's not super pretty, but it'll help uh, explain what I'm trying to do here. Okay, good enough. So I have some weight changes. I have some influences. I um, could also move things onto my own layers. So let's say for some reason I want to have these new these two knee controls on a different layer. I could call these knee controls layer, something like that. And here we go. So I can see there's my amazing skinning. I've made some changes to my rig. I've changed some controls. And so what I'll do is select my main control or really any control, doesn't matter, just select one. And then I'll choose rebuild. And it'll ask me, am I sure I want to do that? Can't undo this. So it's going to store all that information first. So storing that to uh, temp files. And then it's going to go ahead and rebuild the rig and add anything new or change anything we've done. So it's generating all the controls. So it's basically doing a rig build. And then once it's generated the rig, then it'll go and apply uh, the skinning back on, apply the control shapes we've changed, apply the animation. Uh, so it's like we're right back to where we started. So the rig is done. Now it's going to go in and load all the data. Give it a minute, quite a bit of vertices there to load in. Okay, so now all worked. There we go. Our animation is there. My beautiful waiting that I did is, is there as well. And you can see that we have those new controls for the those auxiliaries that I added. So it's a, a fairly non-destructive way of working. You can just kind of go back and forth between. It does take a minute or two to do the rebuild, but uh, it makes it so, you know, chances are you won't nail the rig perfectly on your first go. So this allows you to go back and make some changes, change your, you know, move your proxies around and then just rebuild the rig. Uh, and if you get a model change, same idea, right? Update your proxies 
to fit the model change and then rebuild it and, and there you go. Now, if, um, if your model changes significantly, uh, you may not be able to transfer the weights, but everything else should work fairly well. So that's how you rebuild a rig.